What's going on everybody? Fast Action Blades here, coming at you with an epic Battle of the Blades episode. We've got cards versus stars. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do 20 throws. We're going to do 5 rounds with the 4 cards and 10 rounds with the 2 stars. Going to be throwing on my little Jason zombie friend up here. Anyways, just going to see which is more accurate, which is more practical, I guess you could say. You know, what sticks better. So, anyways, let's get down to it. Battle of the Blades begins now. Stuck all four. Good round for the cards. No headshot though. Both on target. One bullseye. Chuck one up for the stars. Almost got that zombie right in the eye. And another bullseye there. Well, after four throws with each, I think the uh, I think the stars are up on top. Round two with the cards. I don't know if that's a fault of the card not sticking. I took it off, put it off another card there, so. But uh, we pretty much got three, three headshots. Well, good round for the cards. I think this is going to be a closer battle than I thought. Got him in the face and the bullseye all at the same time there. And just right outside the bullseye there, looks like we got him pretty much in the heart. Sweet. Another good round for the stars. Well, that was a kill shot right there. Smoked him right dead center in the head. That's awesome. And another shot around. Close to his heart. Probably scared his heart and gave him a heart attack. Sick head shot. Another good round for the stars. Round three, fight! First miss for the cards. Sweet face shot. And this one here is right in the right in the bullseye there. Wow. Cut him open good there.
Another couple of decent hits. No bullseye action though. But on target anyway. Well, just barely got the top of his shoulder there with the eight point and a good stick with the Koga there, but uh, no headshots, no bullseye. Not as good around for the stars there. Round four. Let's do this. Well, not so good for the stuff or for the cards on that round. We have a missed headshot. We cut off a piece of hair. We cut off two pieces of hair. That's not going to cut it. I mean, it cuts the hair, but. And a decent headshot there. One of four on round four. Boo. Another couple of good tosses with the stars there. Got two points stuck in the bullseye there. And one just below with three points stuck. That's got to hurt. And another couple of good hits with the stars. So far the stars haven't really missed yet so I'd have to say that uh, they've been much more accurate. Anyways, one more round to go. Round five. Well, if you like arm shots, then that was that was the bomb. Two arm shots and a shoulder slice and one that ended up down here. Another bounce out for the cards. I believe that's Possibly up to maybe six. Not good for the cards. Well, I disarmed him. Took that chainsaw right out of his hands, or at least made it inoperable. Ha ha ha. Take that. What are you going to do now, zombie guy? Anyways, at least they were on target. And we couldn't finish with a bullseye or a headshot. But, still got this. Oh man, that was stuck in there. The whole, almost the entire point was stuck in there. And, we managed to take his take his hand off. Well, the battle ended up pretty much exactly how I thought it would. The stars pretty much kicked the cards, but the cards had a couple of good moments there, but overall 
you know the stars didn't uh, didn't miss the target once cards were bouncing out we didn't have any bounce out from the stars poor poor cards so anyways it comes down to practicality hey what are you gonna wanna have in a life or death situation some cards that may or may not stick or some stars that are pretty much guaranteed to stick and you're gonna hit your bullseye a number of times enough headshots oh yeah anyways thanks for watching the epic battle of the blades episode cards versus the stars stars won this round thanks for watching guys have a good one